How's it going, everybody? We have a book. So, I was just able to wrap it up uh, not too long ago. There will be a link in the description of this video to the Patreon page where you can uh, download the book from. Uh, once you've paid, I am charging 50 bucks for it. And um, the idea is once you've paid the 50 bucks and you get access to the link to the book, then you, won't, you shouldn't have to ever pay that again. You'll have access to the Google Drive link. And the idea is whenever I do a revision on the book and update it and things like that as time goes on, um, you, uh, I'll notify everyone that you know, if you follow the channel, there'll be updates via videos and um, you know, the, the blog style posts that go on the channel and things like that, that there is a revision of the book, which probably will be coming soon. Um, I'm definitely gonna be, I'm, I've done my best. It's taken me a few, probably four or five months to write this. And um, so I'm fully expecting folks to read through the book and um, notice things because you're taking the time to read through it. Um, I've gone through, I've done probably a dozen passes of the book to make sure that the formatting looks right and things like that. But when you've been staring at something for the past several months, it uh, all kind of starts to kind of bleed together. So I fully expect there to be folks that'll comment or make a you know comment, reach out and be like, hey this or hey that, things like that. Or you did, th you went this far with this particular technology, uh, could you do a lab for this? And I, sh I don't see a reason why I wouldn't be able to. Um, the, the topology is rather small. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the Eve topology uh, real quick just so you guys can see it. And this is what you're gonna be able to download. I'm actually waiting for it to load as we speak. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy over here real quick. Um, this is the topology that everybody will gain, get access to. You'll get the Eve topology file and everything that you need in order to do all the labs and things like that are included in the workbook. The workbook is all inclusive, meaning that there isn't gonna be anything else that you're gonna need besides this. The idea is to have an initial configuration and things like that. So you'll be able to just copy and paste these uh, configurations into the consoles of the, the routers and things like that. Now, I happen to be using CSR 1000 Vs. Um, if you um, have access to GNS3 or if you have access to uh, CML, things like that, the, you, the, the only thing you really need to pay attention to and have locked in is the interface nomenclature. So if you're using a different emulator, like CML or GNS3, that'll work fine as well, because it's, you know, whether it's CSR 1000 V or iOS V, it'll work as well. You just gotta make sure your interface nomenclature lines up. So your interface connectivity between R1 and R2 needs to be gig two on R1 and gig one on R2. So as long as you make sure that the interface lineups are correct, then copying and pasting in the initial configurations shouldn't be a problem. You just have to make sure yours line up. As long as they do, you should be in a good spot. So I happen to be using, uh, I did a couple different versions of code. I did 3.17 and I did 16.6. So that is what I tested out on and I went pretty far with it. I've covered as much of the blueprint as, um, I, I probably could have covered more but I figured I was already in the middle of January and I had, it's been what, a few weeks since Christmas. So I wanted to get it done because I released I think a week before Christmas. So it's been a month since I've commented or posted anything on it. So I wanted to get it done and wanted to get it out to all of you because I know there's a lot of people waiting for it. So um, the way that the workbook looks, I'll go ahead and pull this back up. Um, it is a PDF that you can download, and it is completely, um, there's a table of contents for you. So there are, I'm going to bypass some of this information here real quick. There is a table of contents, and the way that it's built is, for example, if you are want to go to the initial configurations, 
you click on there and there's all the configurations. Remember, just the you just have to update the interface type to whatever matches your lab. So if you're using GNS3 and say 7200s or whatever platform you happen to be using, just make sure this lines up. If it's gig 0 slash 0, make sure gig 0 slash 0 lines up. Uh, beyond that, the way that the labs are built, let me scoop back here real quick, is they are, I've done my best to write them CCNA, some CCNP style questions where um, some are going to describe the topic, others will be more direct. So, and some are very, very loose, meaning that uh, it's configure this because there's so many different ways to do it. It's there as a base platform for you to work off of. So if you wanna use what is provided in the workbook and then build off of that, be my guest. That's the whole point of this. So if you wanted to say you're on the VLANs tab, so we'll go back up to the top here, all the way up. So we click on here, screw, let me say click on VLANs and then it's like, okay, what do we gotta do? You click on solution, it takes you to the solution, right? And so I put the, the workbook task and the solutions for those particular tasks in their own dedicated section. So you're not having to go from the top of the book to the bottom of the book in order to do that. Now, if you want to go back up, I would suggest you go back up to the, the table of contents. The one thing I haven't built in here yet, which is probably going to be coming, is a back to the original task. So you, if you were done with VLANs and you got that configured and you went to solutions, it would bring you back to 802.1Q. So now it, this is a, um, if you want to, to make that easier, let me move the mic out of the way just real quick. If you click over here on the right hand corner, I'm using Adobe, click on this. And why do the bookmarks not? That's cute. Anyway, um, there's supposed to be bookmarks that'll pop out here and then you'll be able to work off of that. So that's basically where that'll come into play. Now, with that being said, I do want to preface that there will, again, there will be re revisions to this and there will be, I'm going to continue recording the Enterprise series for the book. And the book is not, there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes out of the book that's going to go into videos and things like that. But at the same point in time, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be in the videos that goes beyond the book and different scenarios. Because you guys are going to comment on stuff and hey, I got this, or hey, I've got that, or what about this scenario? And the idea is to build something around that. So that's where that comes into play. So if you guys are interested in downloading the book and stuff like that, 50 bucks, I, th I feel is a, a very fair price point for the amount of effort that it took and things like that. So um, I'm definitely interested in hearing the feedback from the community on the book itself. I'm going to be posting once this video renders, uh, the I'm gonna I have to obviously verify that the um, the linking works and stuff like that before I make the video go public. But um, I wanted to get this out before dinner time, my time. I'm a little late on that, but I had to eat. I was really hungry. So with that being said, I want to thank all of y'all for your time and patience, and hopefully this book does well. Until next time, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. And until next time, guys. Take it easy.